Bonjour, je m'appelle Scott. Bienvenue à Le Scott Re Project. And if you're wondering why I'm speaking in our French accent, it's because today we are going to do a super quick video on a spice mix. This spice mix, uh, quatre espices, spices, I don't know how you say it, quatre spices, basically translates to four spices. Now, this spice combination, beloved of the French, also used in Middle Eastern dishes, it's typically used in soups, ragouts, pot cooked dishes, vegetable preparations, but the one we're interested in, it's used in charcuterie. Now, pâtés, terrines, sausages, black puddings, but the reason we're making it is because my next video, Boudin Noir, we're going to be using quatre espices. You have to excuse my French, quite literally. Right, let's get on and blend this. A very quick video. So typically then, it's made, the four spice blend, don't get me to say quatre espices again, with ground white pepper, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, and ginger. Although some people substitute the ginger for coriander, it doesn't matter either or either. Two schools of thought, equal amounts of all the spice blend or more traditional, a higher pepper content and then blend in these other spices and that's what we're going to be doing. So, first thing we're going to do then, this is going to be one of the quickest videos I ever did so don't even bother putting the kettle on. I'm going to get my scales working. Right, just tear my bowl and my blend calls for 65 grams what we got in there 44 of white pepper get it in so we got our 65 grams of ground white pepper so that five grams of ground cloves you've got to be careful Common sense says, do it in separate containers, but I live on the edge. 15 grams of ground ginger, so I shall tear that off. Magica camera, 15 grams, see how it works? Good on it. And then just tear it again. And then we want 17 grams of ground nutmeg. Look at that, ooh, I am good. Beautiful combination, just have a look, if I can bring it up to the camera. Just give that a good mix up then and get it into our jar with a tight fitting lid. How easy is that? So give it a mix up then. Like I said, used predominantly in charcuterie, sausage making, pâtés and terrines. And that will keep in an airtight container quite a while just give it a good mix then make sure all the colors are distributed you can always put it in the container and give it a good shake up and that would sort it out so we would just put it into here you watch me get this all over the place this is going to be a blooper come on come on my beauty yeah that'll do i'll go for that put that in there and then we will transfer that to this beautiful, what a beautiful invention kiln a jar is, hey? Like stepping back in time. Give it a shake. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. There you have, quatre espices ready for our Buddha noir. And there you have it then. Beautiful spice blend. And apart from its conventional use in charcuterie, like I've said, sausages, pâtés, you can also use it in rillettes, pig's head recipes, trotters, black puddings. Also, add it to a mustard and brown sugar glaze and glaze your hams. I never read that, honestly. I thank you, Jane Grigson. Beautiful. So if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, guys, you know the drill. Please subscribe by clicking down there on social media. Facebook, Scott Reed, the Scott Reed Project, 
Also on Twitter, look up there at the Scott Reed Project. Got a sticker on my nail. Like it and share it. Till next time then, we're going to put this on the shelf. Next time you see that, it's Boudin Noir, baby. See you again sometime. Take care. Merci beaucoup, mon ami.